So highlight is the um, class that we need to go ahead and create. So inside here, I'm going to go ahead and create a highlight class. And I'm essentially, well, basically just going to set the background color to yellow. So now what's going to happen is if we were to if we were to apply this to any element on our page, for example, search, it would be the same if we were to actually perform the search as creating a span around this with a class of highlight. Uh, and now, sorry, highlight. And now that's taken uh, the class and applied it to this particular uh, uh, span here. So that's basically what the plugin does, just as a bit of a background information uh, on that. Uh, but obviously our highlight uh, our highlighter plugin here is going to do all the work for us. So what we want to do is we want to reference um, something in a selector and then apply the high highlight uh, plugin to this. And in here we need to provide the search term. Now the search term is obviously search underscore term, the value that we stored from the text area. However, what do we want to do uh, with go ahead and uh, when we go ahead and actually select this? Now, there's a few things that we could do. Uh, in terms of this, we've got a paragraph surrounding this paragraph of text. So what we could do is we could place a P in there, and that will just mean any element that's inside or any any text that matches this value here inside of P, uh, we're going to go ahead and highlight it. So we can go ahead and actually test this. Let's just refresh. I'm going to go ahead and type search and click find. And you can see that the search has now been highlighted. Uh, or we could go ahead and type A and you can see that you know everything's been highlighted here. So what's going to happen now is uh, we need to change this so everything on our page is searched for. So at the moment, if I was to take this out of its paragraph, Okay, you'll be able to see that when we search for something, so search and click find, you see nothing happens. And the reason for this is that we need a selector that's global to the to the page. Now, when I was testing out this plugin, I thought it would be uh, acceptable to go ahead and use document.highlight to search for something on the document. Now this will work with uh, regards to this paragraph now. Uh, let's just have a look when we refresh. Oh, well, no, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, essentially this is the problem that we that we have. We've got document.highlight search term. What we actually need to do is go ahead and use the asterisk selector to select everything on the page. So it will essentially search between any element. Uh, I think this will work if you were to type body. Um, with that, this outside of the paragraph, if I was to go ahead and use search, you can see that that's worked now because we've got this plain text within our body and not within another element. If I was to go ahead and change this to P uh, and we have this text within a paragraph, using the body selector won't work now because although it's within the body, oh, it does work. Okay, right, that's fair, fair enough, absolutely fair enough. Uh, maybe I sort of overlooked this, but using the um, using an asterisk selector will select you know throughout the page so it's sort of like a global search across the page selecting all elements so when we click find this uh, successfully highlights for us now we do have another problem in terms of when we go ahead and perform another search which you might have caught earlier when I typed in A and clicked find you can see that search has still been highlighted now the reason for this is that we have not removed the class from here um, if we go ahead and look inside highlight.js and we come down, um, you can see that we've got this uh, almost other plugin uh, which is called remove highlight. So remove highlight will remove the highlight, um, you know, from you know a particular place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just before um, we use highlight search term, I'm going to remove highlight. Uh, and what that will do is it will just remove the highlight uh, altogether. So now what happens is when we go ahead and search for, say, search, we uh, highlight this. But when we perform a new search for, say, just A, what will happen is we'll remove the highlight before we then go and highlight the new search term. So when we click find, you can see that uh, it's been um, it's been removed. But then again, we have another problem where we've actually, uh, you know, just remove the entire element. 
So what we can go ahead and do is just analyze this um, and uh, we'll want to go uh, and uh, we'll want to make a change to this. Now the problem is is that when we're selecting everything, uh, we're talking about selecting absolutely everything in this in this case. What we're going to want to go and do now is because we do actually face this problem with search, clicking find and searching something, typing A and that actually removing the entire span together, we want to go ahead and change this to body. Uh, so now what's going to happen is when we go ahead and search for something and click find, we highlight search, but when we perform a new search for A, it doesn't actually remove the element altogether. So we've now actually you know, highlighted everything completely successfully. So this highlight uh, function here, available obviously at uh, this address here, um, has just used uh, a class. It's taken um, a particular element on a page, and by all means, this could be a, a particular div. So, for example, you could reference it with a hash it was, if it was a particular area you were searching in, uh, for example, a content area. Obviously, if you were performing this search globally across the page in, inside of your body area on your page, you're looking at, uh, you know, highlighting absolutely everything. You might just have a specific content area on your page, uh, and you might not want, you might sort of want to. Disclude or uh, sort of exclude a menu rather. Um, so we've removed highlight before we've gone and re-highlighted because highlight is just going to apply this span uh, as we analysed earlier. It's applying a span with a class name highlight. So it's quite a useful plugin. Um, I just wanted to quickly go over, you know, something like this. How it's uh, you know quite lightweight. It's about two kilobytes in file size. Uh, well, one one three seven four. Uh, so it's a, you know extremely uh, lightweight and quite useful as well. And the benefit of this is that if we wanted to say uh, change something like the font weight to bold, uh, we could go ahead and do so, and that will literally just update the process of highlighting. So if we click search, uh, this will turn this bold as well. So we can customize it how we want inside a style sheet. So that's just a quick example of another plugin and how you would install it uh, and also how to sort of select in the right place uh, and also removing then then highlighting the next search term that's searched for. So uh, again a simple plugin and extremely useful.